Hello and welcome. My name is John Hobby. This video is brought to you by PokerChipForum.com and my patron subscribers. Thank you so much for making this possible. And today we're talking about the Outlaw series of poker chips. Real quick, delving into materials. It's an ABS parent material chip with a metal slug insert and a label. Now there could be some clay in here. Clay is not an uncommon additive in plastic, so there could be some clay content in here. I just don't know. They do have a reasonable feel. Now, uh, let's look at the design. The design is, for me, very appealing. Uh, let's get this red. The red just blends in with the felt. Let's try the 25 cent and the dollar here. Now, I like the parent material, right? I like the mold. It says outlaw. And having a bespoke mold on an ABS chip is lovely. It's just a nice change of pace. There's a little peacemaker gun in the mold as well. So if that turns you off to the set, be advised. It's kind of hidden here in the edge spot, but you can see it. And the label is, there's no other way to say it. It's just kind of vulgar. When you're a little kid, when you're like my four-year-old boy, what's this? It's like, well, that's a grown skull. That means this person grew up to adulthood and somehow died, hopefully of natural causes. And there he is in his cowboy hat, a dead skull. That's always nice. That's always a nice uh, learning moment right there. And the other complaint that I have, and I guess people, a, lot, a lot of people feel like this, even my friends, they don't like this number. It's just kind of hard to see the denomination. You'll notice there's a dollar sign and a cent sign. So the Eurozone, England, or Great Britain with their precious pound, Brexit, all the way. You know, so that might be a limiting factor. And I also like the colors and the design. I thought they did a great job choosing some awesome colors. The brown and the purple might be a little close, but it's a 25 cent and a 500. It's not like any, but... Well, I can't say that for in general terms, but in on my table, nobody would ever. I would never play the 25 cent and the 500 chips in the same game. I raise you 525 cents. Really? You're going to throw that 25 cent in there? <laughs> it would be fun. And if they did play them, I definitely would do that. But I'm just saying, generally speaking, I wouldn't play those two chips together. They wouldn't even be on the table together. So maybe they're a little close in color, but... Not really an issue. Very durable chip. I like it. Uh, the crown chips, also available at Discount Poker, had some width issues. These don't. These are pretty consistent. They have smooth edges, no flashing around the edges. They feel really good. They're easy to shuffle. And, you know, I have 125 of them and I'm thinking about buying more. If you're looking for a big set, these are so affordable, I can easily recommend these. These seem to have, my first impression, these seem to have, at the making of this video, better quality control than the Milano's. The Milano's, I've had printing color issues on the label. I've had thickness issues, width issues, weight issues. Uh, with these, they're pretty consistent. So even more consistent than the crown chips. So definitely have a look at these. It looks like they have a new mold in a new manufacturing process, and it looks like the quality control is pretty good. So, man, they feel really good. Do they stand on edge? Uh, I've had some stand on edge. Wow, there you go. They stand on edge. They don't really have sharp edges, but they do stand on edge. So, let's do a quick sound test. I can tell you right now, I recommend these chips. I want to buy some more. I really like them. I play with these with my boy. Like I said, if they had a similar mold with an interesting, but maybe not quite so vulgar, label. You can see the, this label right here. This is an example. I'm not sure what's going to show up on camera, but this is an example of a label that's n not centered. Can you see all the, let's see if we can focus here. Can you see all the space out here? And then it overlaps right here. This will cause kind of a spinner action and it will also cause the chips to not be flat. Sorry, I totally bumped the tripod. See how the chips aren't flat? That's due to the labels not being centered. If that bothers you, be advised that's an issue with these discount chips but they're so cheap i can forgive it so do a quick sound test here we'll use the 25s because i already have them out uh, what do you want to compare them to some china clays uh ceramics let's do some more of the discount ceramics the scrolls here and we might as well roll in some casino chips 
we're gonna try some of these today. PCA, real Paulson casino chips here. And what else should we compare them to? Anything else? Is that a good mix? That's good enough for a discount ship. If you're upgrading from dice chips, this is a good bet. If you want to avoid dice chips, if you guys don't know what dice chips are, I should show you. These are just like the Walmart purchase. A dime a dozen, 20 bucks for 300 kind of chips. Uh, I would avoid these. I don't like them. However, I think I've said this in another video. My boy, when my boy plays with chips, like uh, when we're playing craps and he's running around, he'll run out onto our deck and throw these into the street. So if your chips are going to hit the street, literally the street, the asphalt, uh, maybe the dice chips do have a place in your collection. But if you're just going to play poker with adults, this uh, is a good bet for a very good price. Sound test. That's what we're at. That's where we are at. Oh, wait, I threw that off the screen here, but this is the chip we're reviewing. And finally, the Milano's. And there you have it. I present to you, for your consideration, the Outlaw set. Very, uh, very affordable set. It's just amazing that these are available for the price that they are available at. So definitely check them out. Pay attention to those denominations. If you're hard of vision, you don't like those, steer clear of the set. And there are lots of options nowadays. We're living in a very buyer-friendly poker chip community. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby. Definitely check out pokerchipforum.com. Say hi to me. My screen name is Hobby Philic. And visit us on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching.